Okay, well, Parkinson's disease is the fastest growing neurological condition in the world, and Canada actually leads in diagnoses per capita. That's why 50 Canadians, including those with Parkinson's, are biking across the country later this month to raise funds and awareness about the disease. So joining us now from the Spinning Wheels Tour mm -hmm. are Jim Redmond, Mike Logren, and Lloyd Taylor. Gentlemen, thank you for being here this morning. Uh, I love this cause. It's so important to talk about Parkinson's and to raise money for the research as well. And Jim, this almost didn't happen again, but you've come together again. Tell us why you're back this year. <laughs> you know what? We're, we're back because of what, uh, what you were saying, right? Parkinson's disease is, uh, is growing exponentially in Canada and around the world and uh, and we feel like the word needs to be spread we have uh, we have a message about what we think works best or works well with Parkinson's and that's exercise and community mm -hmm. so we're taking that message across the country and yeah. uh, we're doing it uh, by cycling and we're going to cycle and meet as many people as we can mm -hmm. as we go so yeah that's that's what we're doing yeah what an initiative I mean it's you three cyclists but also you know 50 Canadians in total doing this Mike you also joined Jim on our show two years ago yes. uh, when you did this how was that last ride for you um, it was tougher then because since then I've had my DBS surgery uh, deep brain stimulation so I can actually do a little more now mm -hmm. I'm expecting to ride some more this year as opposed to the last year where I was doing more of the filming and stuff right so okay mm -hmm. and Lloyd tell us because you're, you're not all taking the same paths or routes uh, on, on your trip tell us about your trip and and what you're hoping to do on your leg of the journey so I'm starting on the East Coast in Newfoundland um, and uh, doing part of the Eastern Swing with that team and then switching and doing the Northern Leg, which takes us uh, up to Tuk 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 on the Arctic Ocean, which is exciting to do. And, you know, for me, it's about a lot of people who have Parkinson's retreat from life. They hide mm -hmm. their symptoms. Yeah. Yeah. It can be embarrassing to... Uh, come on morning television with an arm that won't stop moving. <laughs> right. And right. the message we're trying to deliver is uh, that's not the right way. Mm -hmm. you, you need to embrace life. You can still be active. In fact, being active helps slow the symptoms growth. So yeah. we're, we're, taking, sure. we're taking this shaky message out and, and letting people know it's, it's not something to hide. How does it impact you on the bike, Lloyd? Seriously. You know, the bike, oddly, is calming. So um, I can sit here and can't get control of my arm. You put me on a bike, I could ride around the studio and, and not hit anything. Right. Wow, that's that. amazing. <laughs> yeah, Jim, apparently, you know, the significance of why you're riding is because cycling actually helps slow down or even, in some cases, cure, like, Parkinson's. Well, yeah, I mean, so, yeah, I mean, not... Not, not cure, 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 but, but relieve the symptoms. And so uh, the University of Guelph is uh, doing a study right now. They're just mm -hmm. about to release some findings. And, uh, and, and same thing with in the United States, there, there more people are looking into the magic of cycling and Parkinson's, mm -hmm. and uh, and it really does. Uh, the, the, I've never felt so good as when I'm on my bike, mm -hmm. yeah. uh, and it's almost like I don't have Parkinson's just wow. like for that moment. Yeah. Uh, and that uh, that to me, I I want more people to feel that. So I mean, we're, we're inviting more people to come out and join us. I know we have about 50 signed up right now. <laughs> uh, we're coming through Toronto, uh, so yeah. uh, we'd love to see you two out there as well. Just go to the website, spinningwheelsrelay.ca, and, and all, everything is there if, if people want to come out and join us. Yeah, it's, it's totally worthy of support, absolutely. Yeah. And, Mike, I wanted to pick up a little more with the, the deep brain stimulation that you yes. talked about there. Can you explain to our audience a little bit more about what that does and how, how you think that's going to be helping you this time around, or I'm supposing just for the well, rest of your life Well, they don't exactly well. know how it works, I guess, but they've developed it, and I had so surgery where they wake for it, and they put two electrodes into my head okay. and down into my basal ganglia. Yeah. And it sends an electric pulse out, and they set it. So I've got a battery thing coming across here, down here, wires going down here into my wow. chest pocket here, right. where I've got oh a nice gosh. battery, so I'm a cyborg, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, it, but it's made I, a difference. Yeah, I don't yeah. have the tremors like I did. Wow. The rigidity is yeah. a lot less okay. than it was. So yeah. it's sort of taken me back to where I had my Parkinson's about three years into my diagnosis, mm -hmm. as opposed to I was, I'm 11 years in now, okay. and uh, looking better than Lloyd. <laughs> oh my god, I, I love that you guys have kept your sense of yeah. humor. Yeah, I mean, great. it's yeah. really lovely. Yeah. And you know, I just want to end off with, you know, M Michael J. Fox is Parkinson's disease and he's obviously raising a lot of awareness and trying mm -hmm. to get more research. Yeah. Uh, Lloyd, does, does that make you feel hopeful when celebrities like him, people like yourselves coming together to raise that awareness so that we can finally tackle this disease? It's very hopeful. There, there's been a lot of advances. This is an exciting mm -hmm. time for Parkinson's and that's why it's so important that we push while we have momentum and uh, you know leaders like Michael J Fox are so critical in sort of spearheading 
but it's the bigger community as well that needs to get behind uh, these advances and, and, and come out in numbers. And that's why we're, we're trying to get 500 people to our gala on uh, Parliament Hill. Mm -hmm, At mm -hmm. the end of this ride, the more people, the better Absolutely. off we're. After the rally, we're back with more breakfast coming up Appreciate right after it. this.